this means the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission appears to be on a mission to save its face after clearing former devolution cabinet secretary Anwai Guru from any wrongdoing over the 791 million shillings NYS come only to beat a quick retreat after fresh allegations incriminating her emerged. ESCC has clarified that it only investigated and cleared Waiguru on four counts touching on managerial aspects. The clearance that was issued from here was in response to a specific request about those four cases dealing with the management of NYS if I can mention some of the things, it was around consulting contracts, uh, it was around uh, aspects of procurement, each of which was looked at in detail by the investigators, looked at in terms of how responsibility ought to be assigned, and the conclusion at the time was that in the case of these four instances, that individual uh, is not culpable, and therefore, you know, uh, in the innocence of whoever was signing the letter, he signed the letter as a matter of routine. The anti-graft body which is being accused of doing shoddy investigations on the scam said the blame should instead be directed to the Directorate of Criminal Investigations. That 791 was at the same time being investigated by a different government institution, not the ESCC. The channels of communication between ESCC and that gov other government institution were not as open as they have become under the multi-agency forum which has been created. Meanwhile, the anti-graft body has revealed that investigations on the infamous Chicken Gate scandal are at an advanced stage and will be forwarding its file to the Director of Public Prosecutions by March this year. The last of the informations on mutual legal assistance which this office had asked for from the UK arrived here via the Attorney General on 29th of January. In the meantime, Central Organization of Trade Unions Secretary General Francis Atoli has invited the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission and the Office of DPP to investigate alleged laws of 11 billion shillings at the National Social Security Fund, which he claims cannot be accounted for. This money belongs to poor workers of Kenya. I'm appealing to His Excellency the President to directly intervene and save NSSF. Samson Kitavi, Channel One, News.